Red 2 standing by, all for lit, and in the green, welcome back to Mario Party 3. It's time to get onto the next board after we had a very interesting run in Chilly Waters. I'll be using the characters who didn't appear in that board. I won't be playing as Waluigi because, well, I actually want to save playing as Waluigi for his own board. So we'll see if his luck has actually got any better since Mario Party 5 where he had an absolute devil of a time. That was rough. Anyway. So we will head out to our Battle Royale on Deep Blue Sea. Now it is interesting to note that Nintendo flip-flopped between Blooper and Blooper for the spelling. And it was actually essentially codified in Paper Mario. Time to set up the game. Yep, just the usual stuff. So yeah, that's why it's spelled Bloober instead of Blooper. Because, yeah, just a little inconsistency with the translation. I'm going to play as Peach, I think. We'll put Luigi as player two. Good choice. And we also need... Oh no, we had Yoshi a lot. So I had Peach, Wario... Yeah, Peach... Yeah, Daisy, Wario, DK, and... Oh no, wait, Mar yeah, Mario was in there last time. Just blanked out a little bit, because of course, how could I... I shouldn't forget, Mario stole that bloody star from me. Jerk. Still haven't forgiven him for that, and I'm probably not going to. All equal, we're going on hard AI. Will we use a handicap? The AI can probably handicap itself pretty well. Alrighty, so we are going to Deep Blue Sea, Sunken Treasure and Fantastic Creatures. So once again, we'll go to our custom run of 25 turns, which is pretty good. We've got our mini game options and we are all set to go under the usual rules. Punch it! And here we are on Deep Blue Sea. I'll give an overview of the board as usual. We'll see what sort of madness occurs this time. Depending on where the start lands, it can be pretty rough. You're all here. Welcome to the legendary Deep Blue Sea. In this deep dark sea, you'll battle to become the superstar. Mind you, it's actually got pretty good lighting for somewhere that's really dark. And as usual, we need to determine the turn order. Two! Ah! Oh. I was last last time as well. My rolling like hasn't improved here. Oh, ten coins. Game start. Where is that first? Ah, there it is. So we have to loop around on a difficult junction. So we have to... I've got... I think my settings are pretty consistent. Yep, so they're going to stay the same. That's good. Yoshi gets a 7. The bank is usually set right near the start. That's a bit of a pain. Oh, he could have done the courageous thing and gone for a battle game. While Luigi gets the item game. What am I going to get? Rolling a 4 would be really good. So he hasn't gone for the item game, okay. Fair enough. And, well, just sit and wait, I guess, until it's finally my turn. Yeah, you can't really buy much because of the bank, so he gets the mushroom. Alright, so, the overview of the board. So you'll see these paths along here. Oh wait, you can't scroll fast. So we just have to scroll at normal speed. So we see the path going this way. You'll notice that it cuts up to here, to this junction. You can pick two paths. But Sushi the shark, who can't quite fit into that submarine wreckage. It's not the that's not the yellow submarine, is it? Jeez. 
But anyway, Sushi will force you to press one of four buttons. If you pick the wrong one, you'll be shot onto the opposite path you picked. If everybody picks the right one and you actually have the ro have the torpedo button, then you can actually outsmart the game by picking the opposite direction. So, if you go down here, you'll walk along the side of this crevasse and basically head back down here towards the start. If you go along the other side, you can navigate the pathways up here, around the blooper, and up here where you can go and see Boo. And there's another item shop and a bank and the skeleton key doors. Now this anglerfish here, the arrow will point in a certain direction, either to the right of screen, at the angle it currently is, or straight towards the bottom of the screen. If you wind up getting swallowed by the anglerfish, you'll be spat out in the direction the arrow is facing. If it's facing down to the bottom of the screen, you'll go this way and land on that space in the middle of the screen. You will, If it's pointing the way it's currently pointing, the default way, you will wind up back at start. You'll wind up over here near Boo if it's facing to the right of screen. Well, it's actually a fairly pretty looking board. So, if you land on any of the happening spaces in the middle of the area, you will automatically be put onto the other side of the ravine. A giant unseen blooper will wind up lifting you up. Wait, is that a blooper pod racer? That's cool. That's really cool. All right, let's roll. And we got a nine. What's up here? There's Bowser? But there's no point in me going to Bowser because I'll have coins. I can wind on up buying something from the shop. Skeleton key. Oh, the reverse mushroom is a good insurance policy and it's only five coins. All right, well, the economy isn't great at the moment, so let's play a mini game. Oh, pipe cleaners. I'm not so great at this one. Hit the baby bowsers with the hammer as they pop out of the pipes on either side of you. Up and A and B, down and A and B. The baby bowsers will try to fool you. The player who scores the most gets coins. All right, so I got to concentrate a bit. Whoops. Okay, I lost a bit of concentration, but Peach did all right. 27. Waluigi only got 14? Jeez. Well done, Peach. Good job. And Luigi is in last. Oh, well. Well, let's... Yoshi's not... <laughs> Pat like Yoshi. Waluigi, who's just sort of going off on his own path, he's probably looking for the bathroom. Only, well, you know what Luigi's like. You know what Waluigi's like. Waluigi has the very special ability to just hunt down people's bathrooms and wind up living in them. Not to mention that he has actually just finally decided to join us after spending quite a long time hiding in Luigi's towels. Waluigi's been on a bit of a holiday. That chance time absolutely broke him. Poor guy. I mean, he was too depressed to actually hide in Luigi's... It's the zero now, which is fair enough. Yeah, so while Luigi wasn't in quite the right state of mind to hide in Luigi's towels, he could only bring himself to hide in Luigi's tea towels after that. So, yeah, that was actually a pretty awkward time, especially when Daisy came over to do the dishes. Oh, boy. Spotlight Swim. It's us onto Yoshi. We sh should be able to win this. We've had this one before. Hopefully we don't get too many repeats of the beat goes on. It's a drag. 
Oops, I overshot it a little. There we go! Well, we're racking up some decent coins. While Luigi off doing his own thing has wound up uh, getting a fairly decent uh, amount of coins as well. So, what's Yoshi gonna get? Not much with his five coins. You know, you can always buy a cellular shopper and then just butt dial Toad with nothing. Just. Alright, Waluigi is getting an item game. All the items you can ca- So, Bowser phone, warp block, and a skeleton key. The skeleton key is pretty handy. On this board especially, because that there's that one star spot that you can wind up just behind the skeleton key door around here. That that was uh, that was where Tim's master stroke in TRG's playthrough of this came from. He got the star from a hidden block and just controlled the game because he got the wacky watch as well. You had to get a skeleton key or a reverse mushroom and nobody succeeded. And through clever manipulation of that and the bonus stars, he won the game. It's some of the best strategy you've seen. Oh, 10. Well, I want to go down this way, so... Hey, hey, hey! Hold it! If you're passing by here, you've got to press a torpedo button. Only one's the real deal, though. All right. Uh, Do I want to press the big red button? Probably not, blue. Oh, very nice. I like that. Oh, picture in perfect. This is always fun. I think Wiggler is the... Toad is the easy one. We've got Toad again. Toad's the easy one, Wiggler's the medium one, and Mario's the hard one. And some of the faces get very, very funny. Go after the hearts. Damn it, I got the cat smile. And glasses. I think Waluigi's. I just, if I got the, if I got, if I'd pressed it a little bit later, I would have got it. That one's on me. Yoshi is looking up enviously at Luigi, which is a pretty rare thing to have to say. We're on turn four, are we? I can't pause it now. Oh, well, Luigi could stitch me up. Yoshi's got a ten, but he's not making it to the star. What's... Waluigi's actually got two options he can wind up using against me. Alright, it was the big green button. Been blown off course. But he winds up landing on the happening space. So, hey, that worked out alright if you're going for the star. So what's Waluigi going to do? Bowser. Oh no, he, oh no. Is it gonna be? Yes! Sexy Bowser for Peach! <laughs> it had to be! <laughs> yes! Oh, we were looking for. Gwahaha! I was hoping I'd see you, Peach. So, what frighteningly fun event will we have this time? Gwahaha! Where's my snazzy suit? Get me my snazzy suit from Odyssey, quickly! And put, and put on the swanky Bowser music, too. That's better. Reverse curse it is! I shall cast my reverse curse on each and every one of you. Here goes. R-E-V-E-R-S-E-C-U-R-S-E. -E -E. Find out what it means to me. Thank you for joining me in this wonderful event! See you later! Wahahaha! Okay, so Waluigi's going. What? 
Hey! You can't have him, boys! He's my man! He's my lizard, boys! <laughs> what? Wallow. Oh no! Now I'm one off! Waluigi's missed the star. <sighs> now that did kind of screw me over a bit more than I thought. Did he do that on purpose? It's hard to tell sometimes. Are they really just... Are they just... Are they just that... Are they, are they being strategic or are they being dumb? Well, what, might as well get an item game. Uh, I'm a picky eater. I'm a princess, I'm allowed to be. I get another reverse mushroom. So now there's the question, if I use a reverse mushroom... Oh, Alright, it's everyone onto Waluigi. Ball to ball, we should be able to win this one. What a start! <laughs> well... Oh, I don't think I can complain about that. Whatever happens, we had a great start. We've had Sexy Bowser turn up. <laughs> For Peach. All right, so... Gunning for me. I want to go for Luigi. All right, ran right under the guns. Jeez, that was some good evasion work, if I do say so myself. Peach has got some pretty good movement skills. Probably got to be quick on her feet and a very quick thinker too. Okay. So, Waluigi can still screw me over. Yoshi's go So, depends on where the warp block takes him. Oh, yeah, he's just had the right tools... Ah, oh, rightio, he got Yoshi, so... Oh no, hang on. So he's going through the skeleton key door. So, wait, that's... Waluigi has been screwing himself out of a chance to get the star several times. Well, it's another item. Jeez, Bowser really is trying to send his henchmen to woo me. Um, no, I'm really not patient. I'm not that patient at all. I get all one I I'm not complaining. Well, we'll wrap up part one. Oh, Hyper Hydrants. I don't know if I'm very good at this one either. Dows the flames from the Potaboo, the team that puts out the most flames wins. Luigi and Peach aim water and spray. Hose will spray, but the distance will become shorter. All right. Give me plenty of water, Yoshi. Pump! Pump hard! Wow, they actually did pretty well. I don't think I did too much wrong there, but they were just that bit better. I think I'd probably do a bit better pumping. Which probably doesn't come 